What's up boys and girls, or should I say boils and ghouls, since it's Halloween? <laughs> no, I shouldn't do that. That's real stupid. Cut. What's up everybody, it's Luke James, not the singer. You can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com if you're an indie artist looking for a review or some promo. But this right here, man, we are in for a rough one, because this is a review for Chief Keep's new mixtape, Back From The Dead 2. If you didn't know, he was recently dropped from Interscope because of legal issues and other drama, but I'm starting to think that maybe they heard this mixtape first or heard some of the other music that he was working on and said, you know what, we have got to get this kid all the way the hell out of here because he is making some real bullshit. Now this is going to be a short review because even though this tape is 20 tracks long, there's really not much to say about it. I think one of the most interesting discussion points is the fact that Chief Keef is making his own beats now. And you can really tell that he's making his own beats, because most of his beats are all just a bunch of jumbled sounds put together incoherently. It's like he had a big garbage can filled with drums and sounds, and he just took it and threw it down the stairs like Ultimate Warrior, and it just went all the way down going clankety clankety bang bang boom 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 clank 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 boom 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 Except that's probably a better beat than a couple of the beats on this mixtape. I just don't understand how none of his friends or some of the great producers he works with, like Young Chop, how come none of them listened to this and said, yo, you can't release this, this is terrible, like, you're my boy and everything, but this is some bullshit music, people are not gonna go for this, this doesn't sound good, your beats are jumbled, the progression in them doesn't make sense, the breakdowns and build-ups are trash, what are you doing, you can't put this out, you have somewhat of a high profile, and you just got dropped from your label, and this is what you're gonna drop to try to get ahead? Oh, man. And on top of all that, this tape isn't even mixed properly. The vocals on a lot of the songs are really low. The ad-libs are just too loud and all over the place. The lyrics are mumbled, and there's just nothing here for bars at all. Not that you go to Chief Keef for bars. You go to Chief Keef for bangers. But he didn't even really give you many bangers, because other than the four tracks that aren't produced by him, this is just a mess of a mixtape, and one of the worst things that I've heard all year, easily. Rapping-wise, Chief Keef makes Riff Raff sound like Nas. Think about that. Let it settle. It's settled. Let it simmer a little bit. It's just a little bit of simmer action going on. Yeah. It's not good. So I give this about a 1.5 out of 5. I mean, you could argue that it's a 1, but, you know, I'm going to give it a bit of points because he did work on this and put it together, and the four songs that aren't produced by him, they're pretty good. And, you know, I can appreciate that he is trying to make his own beats. Even though they're terrible, I can respect that he's trying to take more control of his music, but this just seems like a really bad move. Like, you just got dropped from your label, you're trying to figure some things out, and this is the mixtape that you drop? Like, that's not that good of a look. I mean, maybe he can still get some independent money and do his thing because he has a fan base, which I... Pfft, everybody has a fan base. And you know what? If you like Chief Keef, I'm not hating on you. If you love this mixtape and you want to blast this, Go ahead, man. Do what you gotta do. But discussion-wise, it would be very difficult for you to explain to me how this is good. The lyrics aren't good. The mixing isn't good. The vocals aren't interesting. The beats are garbage. Just an all-around mess. So I don't know where Chief Keef is gonna go from here. I mean, he's got a fan base. He'll be alright. I've seen some people on Twitter already tweeting this with the fire emoji and the 100 emoji, so obviously there's people out there who support it. But for me personally, after listening through this a couple of times to do this review, I just got a headache, honestly, and I gotta go take an Advil to fix it, because the sounds just clashing and jumbling together, it was just too much for me. So that's what I thought. You guys can let me know what you think. I mean, I'm sure some people love this album and are gonna go crazy about it, but... It is what it is. Explain to me why this is good. I'm more than willing to listen. And you know what? I can ease my opinion back a bit if you can maybe explain to me what makes it so good. Maybe I missed something, but I really doubt that because it's just... It's not that great. But anyway, do all that good YouTube and social media stuff. Like, retweet, comment, subscribe, share, etc. And I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Hopefully Chief Keef can stay dead this time and not come back from the dead for a third time. Fuck, that is so whack and a stupid joke. Urgh.